YouTube what's going on it's your boy Josh and I'm here back with another video and on this video I'm going to be doing a haircut tutorial and I know it's been a while all this coronavirus stuff going on but I got a video tutorial for you guys today but before we hop into this video I want you guys to go over to my friends QT crew on their YouTube channel I'm gonna put their their YouTube somewhere on the screen and in my description box they are a couple channel they do like pranks challenges on each other real dope if you like watching that kind of stuff so go over there and subscribe to their channel and watch a couple videos also if you're new and you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe to my channel on my channel i teach you how to become the best barber that you can be giving a little bit of motivation and inspiration also my tips and tricks throughout my journey and what i've learned so let's hop right into this video youtube what's going on it's your boy josh and like i said in this video we got a haircut tutorial right now we're going to be cutting his hair down with the one guard open on the babyliss black fx clippers going with the grain and on this haircut we're going to be doing like a low drop fade kind of like a mid fade but more of a drop fade so midway through this process we ended up closing the clipper halfway closed um, he wanted it a little bit shorter, but not too much shorter. So instead of closing it all the way, I closed it halfway just to cut off a little bit to have more hair. And we got it to the length that he wanted to. So a one guard halfway closed uh, with the grain is going to be the actual height that we're using to cut down this hair width. Just a fun fact for this video. I don't know if you guys would notice, but this is um, Sammy Seamster, the client that I'm cutting. He's a former NFL cornerback, um, super dope guy. He's from the same city as me, which is crazy. And we just met through mutual friends and been cutting his hair ever since. So this is something cool too. So right now we're going to be setting in our next guideline which is our ball line with my babyliss gold effect skeleton trimmers setting in this ball guideline i'm going to be making sure that i go all the way around the head evenly on both sides to make sure our fade is balanced and we're going to be dropping it in the back just under our occipital bone so our fade can have a nice contrast and like dark to light finish to it without it being like too close together you know we want our fade to stretch a little bit so we're going to start it low and that's the best way to start your uh ball line for a drop fade because it's going to really bring out that that longness in the fade you know that width in the fade that's what creates a drop fade you want it to look like it's going from shorter to high as it's going up more so towards the hairline you want it to drop down low in the back So right now I'm just hitting the bottom of the line. I'm just really softening it up a little bit because it was a harsh guideline. We want to soften it up a little bit. So when we come back and create our next guideline, it won't be hard to create. I mean, hard to really take out that line that we set in with our trimmers. So right now I have my Babyliss Black FX Clippers with the clipper all the way open, setting in my next guideline, going up about half an inch. And I'm going to be going parallel with the guideline that we created with our trimmer just to ensure that our fade is even on both sides and our width is even on both sides. We want our width to be about, about half an inch on both sides. So we're just going to be following the actual shape of the first guideline that we made while keeping that consistent half an inch guideline width on both sides. So right now we're working on taking out that guideline that we created with our trimmer. Um, right now I have my clipper all the way closed and when I'm using my Babyliss clipper I like to work from all the way closed to about halfway um, because I like because really when I started halfway with my Babyliss clippers it doesn't really get that line out so I like to start it with it closed so when I come back with it halfway or gradually open it up to halfway it kind of blends that in more and better for me um, it makes it come out way easier so that's why I do that with my Babyliss Clippers. So right now I'm just still working on taking out that line. I want to come in with my wall seniors to take out that line because these Clippers, for some reason, they just don't get it for me. Um, the Babyliss Clippers, I always have a hard time taking out that ball line. 
But other than the ball line, it fades great. It's just that the ball line doesn't get out effectively for me. So I always use my wall seniors to get that line out. And always remember, we're starting under the line and flicking up to the line to get the guideline out. So right now, we're going to be setting in our next guideline. Um, going up about half an inch with the number one guard on with the clipper all the way closed and we're going up about half an inch kind of like the same width that we did with the clipper no guard all the way open the previous guideline that we made and we're just going to be doing that all the way around the head staying consistent with the width So the next step is going in with your half guard after you've created a guideline with your number one guard all the way closed. You want to go in with the half guard to take that line out in between the one guard closed and the no guard all the way open. That's when you take out that guideline starting under the line and flicking up to the line, adjusting the blade if you have to. But right now I'm going in with my one and a half guard and I have it all the way closed and we're going to start by fading up into the one guard halfway closed with the grain so this is where we're going to start meeting our fade making it connect so i'm going to go in with that all the way closed so as you guys always know we're doing our fading down technique this is going to start our fading down technique so right after going in with the one and a half closed against the grain going up about half an inch i came back with my number one guard all the way open the reason why I came in with the number one guard all the way open is because it's the medium between the number one closed and the one and a half closed. So it makes those meet. You guys understand why I did that? Because it meets the two together to make one fade. So after making that line, or well, after getting that line out, I went in and did, and did some detail work with my cordless senior with no guard on. And I'm just going to be hitting our, our uh, bottom of the line and kind of just thinning out some of the areas where we were going in with our fades that it didn't quite get as detailed. And I'm just going to be hitting any dark spots that I see to better this fade. So right now we're going to be doing some detail work. I'm going in with my number one guard again, and I'm going with the grain in some areas, doing some dark spots, just so I can come back and go against the grain and offset those areas. Um, right now I have my one and a half guard on, doing some more detail work and also with my one guard just doing some detail work in dark spots so right now i have my number one guard on again and i'm going with the grain across the hairline with the clipper halfway closed setting it up for the lineup and here we are going in with my lineup using my babless gold effects trimmers my favorite trimmers to use so we're just going to get this lineup process out of the way um it came out super sharp i know you guys are going to love it so let's sit back and watch this lineup come to life So on this lineup, um, around the front of his hairline, he has a couple lighter spots. It's not all the way full. So I kept it natural as you guys see, but it still came out super sharp. But I kept it as natural as I, as I can. Um, it's not perfect, but this is an all natural haircut, you guys. And this thing is super dope for all natural haircut. And right here, I'm just gonna go in with my clippers. After you're doing a lineup, you will see a lot of dark spots come to life. Um, it just shows any offsets in your haircut, any dark areas, but it's just something about putting that line on a haircut that just makes everything else show. But right now, that's what I'm doing, just cleaning up some dark spots that I see um, post lineup. So right here, I'm just dotting my I's and crossing my T's, making sure that the lineup is how I want it. And we're gonna go in and clean up his face, um, line up his goatee, line up his mustache. You know, get him fresh all over. We don't need him going out with just a haircut and his face still messed up. We need the whole, everything, man, the whole package to get him looking right. So we're gonna sit back and watch this come to life. So we're just about finishing this up, cleaning up his mustache, man. Making sure everything is blended in good. Doing some detail work. This fade came out super dope, as you guys see, and the lineup is looking even much better, even though it's all natural. But YouTube, this is the cut. 
let me know what you guys think about this haircut um after this i'm gonna go in and do a little bit more detail work that i've seen um but anyway this is the cut um i hope you guys like this video leave a comment leave a like let me know what you guys think about this and make sure if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on also you can follow me on instagram at josh x barber as seen on the top of this video and we ain't putting out nothing but fire work as you guys see we had a satisfied client peace